Ah, traveling. Cool, right? Pack some t-shirts, underwear, and toothpaste. Traveling to another dimension? Well, that's just downright cray-cray. But it's happened, or so they say. So here are the top eight mysterious travelers from other dimensions. Cue the dramatic, somewhat creepy music. Number eight, Carol Chase McKelney, Riverside, California, home to Etta James and the world's largest paper cup. Seriously. It's also home to Carol Chase McKelney. While traveling from San Bernardino to Paris, California, Carol decided to stop by her old stomping grounds of Riverside. However, when she arrived, nothing was as she remembered it. Landmarks had changed, streets were named differently, even the cemetery where her grandparents were buried was gone. But this was not a case of quick urban development. Miss McKelney said that the whole place felt, quote, eerie and dark. Was this a case of too many psychedelics, or had Carol Chase McKelney jumped into another dimension? Number seven, Shadow People. The name Shadow People is enough to get you running and screaming for mommy. Don't worry, it gets worse. Shadow people are supposedly beings trapped in another dimension who temporarily appear in ours. If you see a shadow in your peripheral vision, looming in your door or feel it behind you, well, it could be a shadow person and they could want out of their current dimension. Author Heidi Hollis published a book on shadow people. If you see one and you want them to leave, according to Ms. Hollis, all you have to do is invoke the name of Jesus. That said, you'll probably just shout Jesus when you see one of them, so you're covered regardless. Meth addicts also experience seeing shadow people, but that just could be because of the meth, not someone from another dimension. Number six, the man from Torad. Ah, Torad, a country that's known for its... Wait a second, Torad doesn't exist. One hot summer in 1954, a middle-aged Caucasian man arrived in Tokyo. His passport, which was stamped multiple times, said that he was from the country of Torad, a country which had existed for thousands of years. When customs officials told him that his country didn't actually exist, the man said it was on the border of France and Spain. However, as we all know, this isn't the case. Customs detained him overnight in a hotel. However, the next morning, the man and all of his travel documents and luggage had vanished. He was guarded by customs officials all night, so there was no way that he could have escaped. Was this an elaborate prank, or had this mystery traveler traveled back to his own dimension where Tarad is actually a country? Number five, Lorena Garcia. You know that feeling when you're out and about and you think to yourself, everyone is just crazy today. Well, that happened in a big way to Lorena Garcia. It all started when Miss Garcia woke up and realized that the sheets on her bed were different. No big deal, right? She went to work and no one knew who she was and there was no record that she worked there. Even her boyfriend was gone with no record that he ever lived. Does Miss Garcia have a case of amnesia or did she jump dimensions in the middle of the night? Number four, Pedro Olivia Ramirez. Pedro Olivia Ramirez was driving his car in Spain in 1986. It was a route very familiar to him. While driving from Seville, Spain to Alcala de Gardia, Mr. Ramirez rounded a corner only to find himself in completely uncharted territory. According to his own account, he heard a voice telling him that he had been teleported to another dimension. The cars, which passed him at eight minute intervals, had small license plates and seemed weirdly outdated. He kept driving only to find himself back at home. He attempted to retrace his steps, but was unable to find the other dimension. I guess this was simply a quick journey to the other dimension. Number three, Chaplin's time traveler, Charlie Chaplin. You know, the guy with the mustache back when movies didn't have sound. Back in 1928, Charlie Chaplin was debuting his newest film, The Circus, at Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. Some black and white footage of the premiere was found, and it seems to show an unidentifiable woman talking on a cell phone. In the video, it clearly shows a woman talking into something next to her ear. And since this was 1928, even the flip phone had yet to be invented. Was this a visitor from another dimension or a time traveler? Number two, Markowski Stone Forest. 
Located in the Andes Mountains of Lima, Peru, the Marcauzi Stone Forest is very cool in a creepy kind of way. Found here are large granite rocks in the shapes of human faces and animals. Seriously, you can see it. It can't be explained how these rocks formed like this, but some hypothesize that it could be the result of an erosion. But here's where it gets even creepier. There is supposedly an interdimensional door in the middle of the forest. While there have been several documented cases of phenomenon, Dr. Raul Centeno of Lima was visited by a patient who experienced paralysis on half her body. Apparently, she had been camping in Marcauzi. She was walking and came upon a cabin with people dancing in 17th century attire. She was pulled away by a friend before she could fully enter the cabin and was paralyzed ever since. The doctor believes she experienced an interdimensional shift which changed the flow of her nervous system, thus causing the paralysis. Number 1. The Canadian Hipster it was the early 1940s in Canada. Citizens were celebrating the opening of the South Fork Bridge. There were many people there in clothing that matched the times, and there was photographic evidence. But one person stood out. The hipster. Seriously, it's in the photo. It's a guy in a printed t-shirt, a hoodie, and some pretty modern sunglasses. Fashion forward man, or Canadian hipster from another dimension? You decide.